Well, I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Earlier tonight, as a lot of you know, the NBA had its draft, and uh, I am a huge basketball fan. Every year, I watch the draft on TV. I, a lot of people do. I never miss it. I always watch the draft. This year, it was even better. Listen up. I was invited to go watch the draft live. A friend of mine got me in to see the draft, and I live for this. So I went, just before the show, a couple hours before we do the show, I went and to see the draft. Folks, I don't know how this happened, okay? I guess I got swept up in sort of the feeding frenzy. I was seeing all these amazing players getting snatched up for different teams. I got really excited. I sort of got a little out of control. And somehow I drafted a basketball player. <laughs> I did. I got really, I wasn't thinking clearly. I didn't even know I'd be allowed to do that, but I got really excited and I drafted a basketball player. Actually, here's footage from the press conference. Uh, his name is Andre Frank. He's a seven foot one inch center out of Texas A&M, where he averaged 27 points a game and led the Big 12 in rebounds and blocked shots. He's a three time All-American. When I heard those stats, I was like, I cannot, I cannot pass up this opportunity. I, can't, I heard those stats and I was going crazy and I drafted him, I signed him for six years at $5 million a year. I don't know where the money's coming from. I don't have that kind of coin. That's another call. I have to make a call to NBC because they're gonna have to pay for this. But I was so excited about the whole thing. I, and I, I, I don't know exactly what we're gonna, but let's bring him out here right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest member of Late Night's team, Andre Frank. Let's get him out here. Thank you, Andre. We are thrilled, thrilled to have you here as part of our show. Uh, you're worth every penny of the money I'm going to get out of NBC to pay for this. It's great to have you here. Cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just can't wait to see what you can do for us. Okay. Yeah. Because I got to tell you, I don't really know how we're going to use you here. You know, we do a talk show. And you're a great athlete. You're amazing. I just don't know, but I thought maybe uh, you could just hang out for a while and maybe we'll figure out some way to use you here on the show and you can start earning that $5 million a year. Sound good to you? All right. All right, all right. Andre Frank, everybody. <laughs> Give it I'll think of something. I swear I will. <laughs> Just stay cool. Okay. Well, folks, I wanted to talk about something tonight that uh, is really exciting, and that's uh, the post office. People will applaud anything. <laughs> now, the post office is always coming out with new designs for their 37 cent stamps. You notice this? They always have like a new design to get you excited about the stamp. And everyone's always curious. I wonder what the new design for the stamp's gonna be. I wonder what new stamps are coming our way. Well, cool down, my babies, because guess what? I got a sneak peek at some of the designs for the new stamps. That's right. These stamps are going to be coming out here. They'll be coming out in the near future. No one's seen them yet, but tonight we're going to take a look. We're going to be the first people to see them. This is pretty exciting, huh, Andre? Definitely. <laughs> okay, well, that was good. He helped kind of get people excited about it. So that's good. That helped. Okay, good. Uh, okay, first up, these are new stamps. These are some of the new stamp designs you're going to see. First up, check this out. It's the George Bush's Other Words for Evildoers series. <laughs> George Bush's Other Words for Evildoers series. That's right. There's Wicked Wagers right there. Uh, badness Makers right there. Goodness Stompers. And the most feared one of all, Spelling Checkers right there. Pretty funny, huh, Andre? Definitely. Seven foot one, amazing in the post position. With the rise of the World Wide Web, a whole new language of slang has developed. This next set of stamps taps into just that. It's the Internet Slang Series. That's right. There's LOL for Laugh Out Loud. There's CGL for Can't Get Laid. 
I'm not laughing at that one. There's RBY for right behind you. Uh, and then, yeah. And then my favorite, IOF for I'm on fire. Right there. A fun thing to send people. Okay, up next, it's the Styles of Houses that Billy Joel has crashed into series. Yeah, there's a gorgeous colonial right there. That's a nice one. There's cape. I love a nice cape. It's beautiful. Victorian classic look. And then teepee. Who'd have thought? Teepee must... All right, he's whipping up the crowd. That's good. All right. Five million a year. All right, these next stamps highlight the vulnerable side of some of the cinema's scariest characters. Yeah, it's the classic movie monsters being scared series. There's Wolfman trying to catch a cab in a bad neighborhood. Right there. It's never scary. He wants out of there. There's Dracula being asked to give the toast at a wedding. He's not... There's the mummy doing open mic stand-up. And then there's Godzilla finding his girlfriend's home pregnancy test. Scared Godzilla. All right, these next stamps combine some of America's biggest stars with one of France's biggest movie stars. It's the Gerard Depardieu's nose on other celebrities series. Right? There's Brad Pitt with Gerard Depardieu's nose. There's Marilyn Monroe with Gerard Depardieu's nose. There's Snoop Dogg with Gerard Depardieu's nose. And Barbara Streisand with Gerard Depardieu's nose right there. Actually, we didn't alter that one. <laughs> wow. His first night in the, in the pros, and he's calm. He's handling it. He's in the zone. All right, these next stamps feature some of evolution's least impressive moments. That's right. It's the predictably extinct animal species series. That's right. These the North American mouthless bobcat that wasn't around for too long. <laughs> Apparently they starved to death. Uh, there's the neon delicious fish. There's the one-legged gazelle had a hard time making it. <laughs> oh, boo hoo! Oh, lion's gonna get him. Well, he deserves to. And then. And then, and then my favorite, the four-toed suicidal sloth. Right there. Just depressed. There's nothing like a depressed sloth. Now, folks, this next series is sure to be a collector's item. It's the Blondes Have More Fun series. The Blondes Have More Fun series. There's Fabio on a jet ski. That's going to be a fun one. There's Pam Anderson at a Lakers game. She's having a good time. There's Steve Irwin on a roller coaster. <laughs> Crikey. And then there's Paris Hilton in bed with Fabio, Pam Anderson, and Steve Irwin. <laughs> And finally, I like this. I think it's a sweet series. It's a nice one to end on. It's the Grizzly Bear Fantasy Series. The Grizzly Bear Fantasy Series. There's taking a bath in honey right there. There's finding a 500-pound salmon. There's meeting a camper with a Please Maul Me t-shirt. And then every Grizzly's fantasy winning American Idol. Nicely done, my friend. You did a very nice job. We'll take a break. When we come back, Marlon Wayans is here. Stick around.